intense, but really good actually. I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. The whole experience has been really, really good. It has helped me a lot. It's just nice playing with such like a big group of people because I'm not used to playing such a massive orchestra. The course has been a fantastic experience. Uh, it's hard work. Uh, not too many professional orchestras rehearse from 9.30 in the morning till 9.30 at night. So it's been uh, intense. Uh, music's a really high standard, especially this year. It's a really good high standard this year. It's pretty intense, but that's what we're here for. It's great. I mean, I always look forward to coming back to NIOS every summer. Um, each course is different purely from there's different repertoires being played. One of the pieces, the modern one, that was quite tricky to begin with. But it's great, I've never played anything like it, not anything even close. And it's, I think it's really improved my rhythm, just and counting. I've never had to count so hard in a piece of music in my life, so I really enjoy that. The repertoire of the summer, I really love it actually. I think it's been really great, especially the break for us harpists. The repertoire is fantastic. I mean, it's a brilliant program for young players. Most of them, their favourite is probably the Pines of Rome at the end, which is another fantastic piece for, for young players. And it was also cool to introduce them to some New Zealand music. Tequin's been great to work with. Um, he's just, well, he, he can, he controls the orchestra very well. And um, he's good to laugh as well. So. Yeah, I find him really inspiring. I think, he's, I think he's really excellent. Every single rehearsal that we've had with him, we've always um, had a good laugh enjoyed it which is important I think when you're when you're making music but also he's really got the best out of of the orchestra and I think we're really prepared for the for the tour that's ahead of us under him. Another thing which I'm, I'm really looking forward to is going down to London and playing in the promise which is a very big thing. I can't wait to do a prom, my first prom. I uh, can't wait to play in the Royal Albert Hall with a great audience. I'm hugely excited about playing at the proms and actually the fact that the, the first of, of my proms this summer is with, with um, our National Youth Orchestras. Um, I'm thrilled, I, couldn't, I wouldn't have picked another orchestra in the world to be, to be um, playing at the proms with this year. Um, my highlight of the week has been working with Nicola Benedetti. Well, when she walked in I just got a bit of a shock really. Um... Oh, she's great. Uh, Nicola's great. Um, she's such an amazing violinist and just brilliant personality and she's such a, an icon for Scotland. It was really great having her but it was a bit daunting considering it's Nicola Benedetti. I think it's great that Nias has brought Nicola because she was actually a member of Nias when she was 12 or something like I can't remember but so having her back as a soloist it's kind of like reuniting her with her former orchestra I think that's really cute. You can't underestimate the power of the opportunity to get together with talented people just as talented as you if not more talented to be inspired by you could be inspired by the soloist inspired by the conductor but to also you can be and also inspired by your colleagues they have to play well individually but they have to work out what's best for themselves and for for the whole group and that's um, that's something people go through their whole lives not really getting a chance to learn properly uh, so I would say it's it's um, a skill you can you can pick up and, and really perfect through playing an orchestra um, but that's obviously in addition to, to all the all the many other um, benefits that they will get from playing such wonderful music. So to have the opportunity to have your skills increased just by your desk partner, as well as to know that you're all there for the same reason, uh, you know, this, this sort of uh, excitement of getting together with 120 other, other friends, and uh, so I think there's, there's benefits in that way. There's also, of course, the benefits with the discipline that you get from playing in an orchestra. I think being with a, a group of people that are like-minded, share the same interests and kind of have a common goal with their passion for music. Um, so you have fun both in the musical side of it in rehearsals, but also just kind of relaxing outside that and meeting people from all across Scotland and, and further afield that share the same kind of interests with you. Naya Summer is just such a great bunch of people. You know, and there's a really good atmosphere. There's a, there's a real all for one, one for all kind of atmosphere. It's great, it's not just socially fun, but it actually really enhances your orchestral playing. 
and forces you to work hard but in a fun environment, it's, it's really good. I think their attitude is ideal and, and very, very focused, very committed. And a real, real seriousness about trying to do well and to, to do well in the concerts. It's an organisation that uh, everyone should get behind and, and make sure that kids have the chance to develop not only their music skills but their personal skills, their educational skills and things like that. I think it's quite exciting. I mean, I can't see any reason why it shouldn't just keep getting better and better and better.